In this tutorial, we're going to talk about data structure in Grasshopper and more specifically, we're going to focus on data lists. So let's begin by going to the component palettes under sets. Here you can find most of the components that deals with organizing and manipulating data structure in Grasshopper. Let's go under Sequence and choose Char Sequence Component. I'm also going to go under Params and grab a panel so that we can read the output of Char Sequence Component. As you can see, the Char Sequence Component generated a list of letters ranging from A to J. And a quick reminder regarding the wire display, even if we wouldn't use the panel, let's say under params, I'm going to grab text uh, parameter objects. You could see that the wire is a uh, double, it's a double wire. And this signals you that uh, data flowing through this wire is actually a list, so not a single object. In the main menu bar um, under display, you can choose an option to display fancy wires and I advise you to do so, especially while still learning. So in the panel we have two columns. The first one, the one on your left with digits, represents indices or the order in the list. And the second one, the one on the right with the letters A, B, C, D and so on, these are the actual um, items in the list. So indices identify the positions of the items within the list. So as an example, um, index number one in this case represents item B. Any type of data that Grasshopper supports can be stored in a list in this case, we have uh, letters, so our data type is uh, text. Let's now go under params, utilities, and grab a param viewer. This component is going to show us a bit more information regarding the data that uh, it's flowing through this wire. As you can see here, it says that we have a data with one branch. Let's, uh, let's double click on the capsule. And also let's uh, adjust the size of it so we can see clearly the data tree structure here. In Grasshopper, data list is actually a less complex data tree structure. So it's a single branched data tree. So in programming in general, there might be many ways to store data, but in Grasshopper, there's really only one way and that way is a data tree. If you make the param viewer capsule large enough or zoom in on it enough, you can see the path identification. And this identification matches uh, the one on top of the panel. I like to use the address analogy for explaining data paths. So let's imagine that the two digits in the curly brackets represents the address and that the first zero, the one on the left, identifies the number of the building, while the second one identifies the number of the apartment. So if you want to find a specific item, you would use uh, its address or you would follow the address. We are going to talk more in depth about data paths in future tutorials, in the series for data tree structures. But here in the context of data lists, it's not so relevant. Let's right click on the char sequence component output. And you can see a few options here. All of them are related to managing data uh, stream data structure. And we are going to choose uh, the flatten option, the second one. Let's click on it. Pay attention to the upper right corner of the panel. You can see that our path or the address has been simplified to one digit. And in the param viewer, we also don't see 
additional branches or added a hierarchy anymore. And keeping the address analogy, we could say that we no longer consider the apartments in this building or there are no apartments in this building. If you double click on the Param viewer, you could also see the path and it, it also matches the one uh, on the upper right corner of the panel. So to emphasize again, we have this single digit in our path because we have flattened this list. Now let's talk about the number of items in this list or this branch. I think it's important to point out that this number here doesn't match the last index on the list. Uh, so we have the last index number 9 and the number of items is 10. And these two don't match because the list starts with index 0, not 1. And this is always the case in Grasshopper, it's the default. We have now covered basic aspects of data list structure in Grasshopper. In the next tutorials, we're going to talk about some of the most common Grasshopper components used for manipulating data lists. I will see you then.